Okay, this effect is called Harry's Shutter Effect, but I like to call it Poor Man's Double Exposure. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Dhruvil here back with another video and as you can see this is the final output and you can clearly see from my output that I'm going to use three different images. Now download link to all of these images is in video description so you can use them if you want to practice. So this is the first image, uh, this is the second and this is the third. So as you can see all of these three images will have white background and you have to cut them out from the background. So this is a simple white background, uh, so I'm going to show you on one image and you can follow the same for the second image and the third image. So let's go and focus on this one. So first we have to remove this watermark. Uh, so I'm going to go and uh, use my crop tool from here. Uh, I'm going to go here and cut it like this uh, a little bit and then I will make sure I have delete crop pixel and then I will go and confirm it. So that is gone. Now go and select your fourth option that is quick selection tool and quickly make a selection of your subject. Now it doesn't have to be really accurate okay. Uh, a little bit of here and there would be fine because the background is very simple. Uh, so a little bit there and a little bit here and a touch here. Oops, control Z. So as you can see now the selection is good. Then you go and click on this refine edge option. Now this option will only be available if you have selected this tool. If you change the tool, it will, let's say you select this tool, that will go away. So make sure you have selected your fourth tool, okay? Then go to refine edge. So it will pop up something like this. So all you have to do is that paint on the edges, as you can see, like this. And that's perfect then go and paint a little bit here so this way edges doesn't look really rough so after that go and hit ok so the selection is ready now we have to invert it ok so go to your select and go to inverse so as you can see surrounding is now selected now we also have to make sure that your background layer uh, double click and unlock it it has to be unlocked ok uh, then you go and press delete key so your background is gone then you go to select and you go to deselect. So this way you can cut the background and my these two images are already ready. So I'm gonna go one by one. So go here. I'm gonna press Ctrl A to select it. I'm gonna press Ctrl C to copy it. And I will paste this image here. Ctrl V. Good. Uh, now we can go and close this thing. We don't need it. Uh, so let's go here. Ctrl A. Ctrl C. Copy this image. Uh, come back here, Control V to cut it out. Now all the images are in here. Uh, we are ready to work on the effect. So select your crop tool. Now this is not a necessary step. I just like to make my canvas a little bigger. So select your crop tool uh, and drag it a little bit this way uh, and drag it a little bit this way. Uh, then go and confirm it. This way you can make your canvas bigger. Just a tip, okay? Uh, then I'm gonna go and create another blank layer like this uh, and put this below my all of the model layer okay at the right bottom uh, go and select your paint bucket tool here uh, and make sure your color is completely white and fill it so now you have a white background and three cutout layers see really simple select your move tool from here and adjust this in the middle the middle one here now this one is looking this way right so select that layer, uh, active this one as you can see, then put this here uh, and then I'm gonna go and select this one, the third one and put it here like that. So let's turn this thing on. So as you can see I have all of this here and adjust it a little bit like you want. And if you want to make them bigger or smaller, select a particular layer, press Ctrl T. Uh, and you can hold down your shift key now and make it bigger and smaller without losing any kind of proportion So I'm gonna move it a little bit here and make it smaller like that uh, And then you can go and confirm it So all the setup is ready and now we can start applying the effect So I'm gonna start with the middle layer double click on it and you can see the box will pop up and in the channel option here I will turn off my G and B so as you can see now only we have red channel active and just simply go and hit ok. Now let's start with this. So select this one, uh, make it active, double click on it here. Then this time we will turn off R 
and B so we only have G active the green channel and hit OK and the same with the layer 0 so you double click on it and this time we will turn off red channel and green channel so we only have the blue channel active and go and hit OK now the output is ready but here's a problem with yellow channel it's really difficult to see the model right so you double click again uh, and as you can see here you have this uh, blend if option so here uh, on this slider first hold down your alter key and if you are on apple hold down your option key and then you drag this option to this way as you can see like this uh, now if you do it directly it will suck uh, it doesn't look good so hold your alter key and then drag it uh, like this until it's slightly visible uh, and then go and hit OK. So if you press Ctrl Z, you can see now it's a little bit more visible. So now the yellow looks better and we can apply final adjustment layer. So create new adjustment layer and select levels. And in the levels, go and increase your midtones a little bit uh, and compress your shadows uh, like that. Don't overdo it, otherwise it won't look that good. Uh, just a little bit of adjustment uh, and that's it, as you can see. So that's it, this is the final output and it's kind of a fun way to create this kind of funky effects which you can use on posters or banners, will work really good on posters though. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did, hit that like button. And if you are stuck somewhere or if you have any kind of questions, uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. And you can click on any of these boxes if you want to check out more of my videos. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get the update plus when you click on the subscribe button it will take you to my YouTube channel where I have more than 90 free Photoshop tutorials just like this. So till then goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop.